¿Ustedes tomen Bitcoin? No, no, solamente efectivo. All right, just cash. Uh, ¿Toman Bitcoin? No. No, ok. ¿Toman Bitcoin? No. No, ok. ¿Bitcoin? No, tampoco. So we're in Surf City. This is one of the, the major draws for tourists in this area. So far, every single store that we've asked, uh, no one's accepting Bitcoin. It's been seven months since the president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukele, declared Bitcoin as legal tender. It's the evolution of humankind. So we're going there. But so far, the first country to adopt Bitcoin as currency has seen confusion, glitchy transactions, and fluctuating prices that have left most Salvadorans slow to adopt. No me lo que digan los as foreign investors watch the president declare a state of emergency due to gang violence while facing questions over human rights. But here, the president continues to use Bitcoin as a rallying cry against dependence on the dollar. Ah, so lo pongo aquí. So just put it in the cash. See if we're gonna put in 200 bucks. Across the country, Bitcoin ATMs convert greenbacks into digital currency. Hey, we finally got our money. Two and a half hours later, $199 and one cent. Uh, not sure where the 99 cents went, but uh, money's on our phone. A survey shows only 14% of businesses have made sales accepting Bitcoin. El Salvador's tourism minister acknowledged that any new system is bound to have bumps, but said the goal is to give options to the 70% of Salvadorans without bank accounts. That's been the vision of President Bukele, she says, that opens the door for those that don't have access to banks. The president also encouraging the use of Bitcoin to send remittances. The amount of money that's sent back here to family members in El Salvador from places like the United States and Canada is about $6 billion every year. Using Bitcoin avoids the fees of money transfer companies. The International Monetary Fund has urged El Salvador to reverse course on Bitcoin, and U.S. lawmakers have raised concerns as well. In response, Bukele tweeted, OK, boomers, you have zero jurisdiction. We are not your colony, your backyard, or your front yard. Stay out of our internal affairs. In the capital, San Salvador, support for Bukele is overwhelming, but using Bitcoin remains a challenge. At this grocery store, we held up a line for 10 minutes as the cashier waited for our payment to clear. They said that the transaction was declined, but on my Bitcoin wallet, it showed that it had gone through. Then finally, at a pupuseria. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is, this is the best transaction we've had so far. An exchange of digital currency for a plate of El Salvador cuisine. Gotti is back from El Salvador. Given the challenges of Bitcoin we saw in your story, how practical do average users find it to be? Well, if this really comes down to an issue of trust. And the people we spoke to down there say they do trust their president. But when it comes to the technology around Bitcoin, they don't trust it enough to use it every day. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.